Right now from right here in Madison. Right now from right here in Madison and across the country, some of the Memorial Day services honoring those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Plus new information tonight after the small plane crash in southeastern Wisconsin. We're learning the teen pilot was on one of his first ever solo flights. And a fire this afternoon at a Jefferson County landfill. We have an update from fire officials coming up. News 3 Now at 6 starts now. Well, thanks for having us in tonight. Before we get to those stories, we've been treated to a beautiful extended holiday weekend. But starting tomorrow, things will be changing, prompting an alert day. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Penalty with our certified most accurate forecast. Gary? Well, Brady, we've had strong southerly winds today and lots of sunshine allowing temperatures to get up to around 90. But tomorrow some strong to severe thunderstorms. We do have an alert day in the forecast for the potential for uh, some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening. High winds and hail, the main threats can't rule out an isolated tornado. Visible cloud track shows severe thunderstorms moving through parts of Minnesota and Iowa right now. They're still out to the west of us. You can see tornado watches in effect out to the west. Those storms will weaken. A couple of those could at least hold together into parts of uh, western Wisconsin uh, later on tonight, uh, perhaps areas west of Madison. But tomorrow, the severe weather threat shifts eastward. The highest severe weather threat over far southeastern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, but we can't rule out at least a couple of isolated severe thunderstorms here. Low temperatures this morning started out mild. 69 was the low in Madison, 70 in Janesville. Uh, temperatures right now near their highs for the day, 88 in Madison, 90 in Janesville. They've been as warm as 91, 89 right now in Boscobel. And dew point temperatures are in the 50s to lower 60s. You factor those together, it feels like it's in the mid 80s to around 90 degrees with the heat index. By tomorrow morning, we'll drop to 71. Again, a chance for a thunderstorm west of Madison overnight. Tomorrow, the best chances for storms mid to late afternoon with a high of 83. I'll talk more about the severe weather threat in just a few minutes. Next at 6, the Taps for Veterans organization is teaming up with Fleet Farm this year to honor fallen soldiers by participating in the third annual Taps Across America. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, buglers simultaneously played Taps at all 47 of Fleet Farm's Midwest locations. And in Madison, the descendants of those who fought in the country's major wars came together to honor the dead. They gathered at one of Wisconsin's national cemeteries, a small plot in Forest Hill, where soldiers from the Civil War are buried. Reporter Will Keneally shows us how the sons of Union veterans of the Civil War so the tradition of Memorial Day in concept dates back to the Civil War. It was a day to decorate soldiers' graves. And in Madison, Memorial Day is an opportunity to honor that history that happened right here. From the Wisconsin Daily State Journal on this day, Friday, May 30th, 1862. <laughs> Departure of prisoners. The secesh prisoners of some week quartered at Camp Randall have mainly left for Chicago. The history of the Civil War runs deep in Madison. Where Big Ten football is now played it used to be a Civil War camp. And it's the descendants of those soldiers that carry on the legacy of Memorial Day. Memorial Day, from the, from the, from the Civil War point, it saved the nation to be the nation we are today. Just up the road from Camp Randall is a small plot where Union and Confederate soldiers are buried, which served as the backdrop for today's ceremony. It's an incredible opportunity for us to think about the sacrifices that got us to where we are today. Uh, but also keeping that in mind, think about how much farther we have to go. We want to be sure that those sacrifices were not in vain. And the gathering was also a history lesson in the legacy of Wisconsin during the Civil War. Old Abe, an eagle that used to fly into battle with a Wisconsin regiment, is the namesake for the 101st Screaming Eagles Army Division. And people paid money to have their photograph taken with Old Abe. And as a souvenir, Old Abe bit into a corner of that picture, and that was like a signature. But at its heart... Today is a day to remember those who gave their last full measure of devotion for the country. So we hope to take that seat of the Civil War and expand it out to everybody to honor all the veterans who have passed away during their service.
So today's ceremonies come just one day after the rededication of the Colonel Hans Christian Hegg statue, who faces King Street on the Capitol Square. He's the highest ranking Wisconsinite to die for the Union in the Civil War, and his statue was rededicated Sunday. You can see our full interview with his family on channel3000.com. And in Monona today, thousands of people enjoyed the beautiful weather and watched the city's Memorial Day Parade. Monona claims the parade is the largest and longest running Memorial Day Parade in the state. It's been put on for more than 60 years and features a 1.5 mile long route. A group of people in eastern Wisconsin held its own Memorial Day celebration after the city canceled it last week due to safety concerns. About 100 people met at a restaurant in Kiel and marched to Veterans Memorial Park. Their march route was similar to the one the city had planned for the city's official Memorial Day parade. But the city canceled it after the middle school received a series of bomb threats last week. President Biden presided over a solemn ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at the Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. At the World War II Memorial in Washington, veterans and family members gathered to remember more than 400,000 Americans who died in Europe and in the Pacific. In New York City, an annual event was held aboard the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. Hundreds of veterans and active members watched the missing man military aircraft flyover. Also part of the event was the unfurling of a 100-foot American flag, playing of taps, laying of wreaths, and a rifle salute. And even in Italy, U.S. and Italian authorities observed Memorial Day at the Florence American Cemetery. More than 4,300 American service members are buried there. And a wall with more than 1,400 names honors those who are still missing. Most of the people buried in Florence died in fighting after the capture of Rome in 1944 during World War II. Around the state in Appleton this weekend, Army Reserve soldiers are getting ready to deploy overseas. More than 100 soldiers, part of the 395th Ordnance Company, Army representatives tell us they will deploy in the near future to the Middle East to help with real-world ammunition oversight, making time for final hugs from children and emotional conversations with parents and family members. And then when I told them that we were deploying, you know, they expected it sometime to happen. Um, so as it got closer, you know, the emotions started coming a little bit more. But, you know, we've all, we've all kind of talked about it and, you know, we're all in the same mind that it's going to be a quick one. Before they know it, I'll be home. Before I know it, I'll be home and, you know, we could go on. Oh, and check out this video. Today at the Memorial Day service in Milton, Who's Woods Raptor Center released a rehabilitated bald eagle to honor our military heroes who died while serving in our armed forces. According to the executive director, the eagle's name is Columbia because he was discovered or recovered in Columbia County with a wing injury. He made a full recovery and released back into the wild with more than 200 people in attendance. Next at 6, an update from last week. An 18-year-old from Brookfield who crashed a single-engine plane in Wauwatosa in a neighborhood there has died. The police department says Daniel Perlman was on one of his first solo flights when his plane crashed last Thursday. Perlman's plane went down shortly after taking off from Timmerman Airport. An air traffic control radio, the pilot was clearly in distress, saying his engine had failed. Well, tonight, crews are investigating an afternoon fire at the Deer Track Park landfill near Johnson Creek. This is video from the DOT cam along I-94. The fire department says the fire broke out at about 1 this afternoon, covering an area roughly 2 acres in size. The flames were put out in about an hour, and no injuries have been reported. The memorial outside of Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, is continuing to grow nearly a week after a gunman opened fire inside. The names of all 19 children and two teachers are written on crosses surrounded by seemingly endless flowers, stuffed animals, notes, pictures, and candles. The city of Uvalde remains in mourning, and today Texas state leaders are again offering their condolences. Here's the story. Six days have passed since a gunman killed 19 students and two teachers at Uvalde's Robb Elementary School. As the victims are laid to rest, some members of the community are questioning why more wasn't done to save them. One little girl was shot through the kidney with one bullet wound. She might have lived had she not waited and bled out. 
she might have lived. Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez told CBS News the young girl's family has a right to know what happened to her. They said they don't want their daughter's death to be in vain. At a Memorial Day event in Longview, Texas, Governor Greg Abbott asked the crowd to remember the school shooting victims as well. What happened in Uvalde was a horrific act of evil. And as Texans, we must come together and lift up Uvalde and support them in every way that we possibly can. Governor Abbott has said he was misled about what law enforcement's initial response was and has ordered an investigation. Be assured, we will not relent until Uvalde recovers. The Department of Justice is conducting its own review of the police response. President Biden visited Uvalde on Sunday and today expressed hope Congress will take action to prevent future mass shootings. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas. For its review, the Justice Department said the goal is to learn from what happened and stressed it is not a criminal investigation. Well, still ahead at 6, a construction notification for a highly traveled Madison thoroughfare. Plus, through the fog, the new Great Lakes Cruise Line arrives in Duluth. We'll check it out when we come back. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? Do crow's feet, wrinkles, and under-eye bags make you look 10 years older than you feel? Let's face it, aging isn't fun. We all want to look our best, so we feel our best. But injections and procedures can be expensive and painful. There's a temporary, better way to love your reflection. And that better way is Plexiderm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Who am I? That absolutely blows me away. I feel better, and when you feel better, you shine. And when you shine, the whole world loves you, and that's a great feeling. Hi, my name is Robin, and this is what Plexiderm does for me. I shine. I feel so much younger when I use the Plexiderm. I feel like I look half my age, uh, and I'm not exaggerating. I feel great. Wow, that's incredible. What a difference. I think I look great. 10 years younger at least. There's been creams, there's been lotions, um, concealers. Nothing works like this. And in just a few minutes, it's amazing. The crow's feet developed those about 10 years ago. And these little lines around my, my mouth, where did they come from? And I put this on and bam, they're gone. Just in a couple of minutes, I can't believe it. They're gone. Forget the pain and expense of injections or in-office procedures and try the 10-minute solution that lasts for up to 10 hours. Plexiderm is so easy. Just make sure you have a clean, dry face and apply a small amount because it's so powerful. Wait a few minutes, then your bags and wrinkles will visibly disappear. I can't believe I have no lines in my face. I'm like 20 years young. See the Plexiderm difference for yourself this Memorial Day with our $14.95 starter offer. Just visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Well, there it is. Early this morning, through the fog, the Viking Octanus cruise ship made its way into the Duluth Harbor. The ship is on the second stop of its new Great Lakes tour, a journey that required lots of preparation to make it all happen. Well, from here, the ship will go on to Bayfield in the Upper Peninsula before heading through the Sulox and into Lake Michigan. Well, for anyone who uses Highway 30 in Madison, we have a traffic note tonight. Construction on the highway is scheduled to begin tomorrow. The project will repair and resurface the highway between Fair Oaks Avenue and the interstate. Highway 30 will remain open to traffic during construction with single lane closures, but the westbound exit ramp to US 51 Stoughton Road will be closed Friday night to Monday morning. In addition to today being Memorial Day, it's also World MS Day, an opportunity to raise awareness and celebrate global solidarity for everyone affected by multiple sclerosis. To mark the occasion, Aftershock Classic Arcade Bar on East Washington Avenue in Madison is raising money. It'll donate all token sales from today to the Wisconsin chapter of National MS Society, something the owner says is close to his and his employees' hearts. My wife has been diagnosed with MS. My, um, one of my partners uh, ha has a brother who's got MS. My 
sister-in-law has MS. Uh, it just seems like this is something that is touching people's lives, you know, and just our immediate uh, 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 sphere. He says in addition to raising money today, the arcade bar has also recently held a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County. Well, there's more to come tonight at 6 when we come back how a commercial pilot shortage is already hurting summer travel plans for thousands of Americans. Plus, a beautiful end to an extended holiday weekend. But things will be changing in the week ahead. Gary is back with the forecast up next. Start your next project with 11% off everything at Menards. Get a clean edge around gardens and flower beds with Master Gardener Pro Landscape Edging. Right now, you can get a 40-foot roll for only $14.99 after 11% rebate. Keep animals from ruining your trees and shrubs with a variety of Messina's Animal Stopper Repellent Sprays. All Animal Stopper Sprays are 11% off. Save today with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Memorial Day sale at Steinhoffel's has been extended. There's still time to get in and save big with store-wide savings of up to 75% off. Plus, take advantage of great bonus buys like a Beautyrest Queen mattress for only $3.99. Or this reclining sofa now just $4.99. A queen bed $6.99. A five-piece dining set only $7.49. Create your outdoor oasis with an extra 10% off all patio. It's the extended Memorial Day sale. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. It's Terrific Tuesdays at hy V. This Tuesday, get hy V Midwest Pork 8-ounce chops, only 99 cents each. Dole Celery, only 77 cents. hy V Peanut Butter, only 89 cents. And Gatorade, 4 for only $5. Tuesday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at hy V, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. Watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. Airports expect to be busier this summer than they have been in years, and airlines will have to handle the load with a shortage of pilots. Over the next decade, more than 14,000 pilot openings are projected each year. But the pandemic slowed the rate of newly minted pilots, with only 4,300 graduating in 2021. And at the same time, older pilots accepted COVID-era buyouts, further thinning the ranks. We're not quite back up to the number of pilots that we had pre-pandemic, but we're close. Well, that's Southwest CEO Bob Jordan. He says the company is ramping up hiring in search of 2,000 new pilots. He says right now about 6% of Southwest aircrafts can't fly because we don't have enough staffing. And this weekend's holiday travel has likely been a chaotic one for thousands of people. Uh, thousands of flights were canceled because of bad weather and other air travel issues, including those staffing shortages we talked about. And for those hitting the road, drivers had to pay record high gas prices. This morning, the national average for a gallon of regular is $4.62. Well, something to be said for sticking around here, Gary. <laughs> That's right. Uh, showers and thunderstorms, though, uh, could uh, impact travel during the day tomorrow and to the north and west are already doing that tonight. Uh, three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for a, a windy, warm, and humid day tomorrow with high temperatures in the lower 80s. But thunderstorms will develop mid to late afternoon into the early evening hours. And there's the potential for a couple of those to become severe. And then dry weather moves back in for Wednesday through Friday with high temperatures in the low to mid-70s. You can see a line of severe thunderstorms 
raking through parts of Minnesota, west of the Twin Cities. In fact, it looks like a tornado warning just uh, issued uh, west of the Twin Cities metro area. This is part of a line of storms that's now starting to build southward into Iowa, where a new tornado watch has been issued. So that area really under the gun tonight. Uh, Storm Prediction Center has a moderate risk or level four risk of severe thunderstorms over much of Minnesota with an enhanced risk down to the south into uh, most of Iowa. And then a slight risk into parts of northwestern Wisconsin. Even the threat for an isolated severe thunderstorm probably about as far east as La Crosse overnight tonight. We could see a thunderstorm reach us uh, later on tonight west of Madison. The tornado threat highest across Minnesota in that hatched area. Potential for EF2 or stronger tornadoes. High wind probability also highest across Minnesota. The hatched area indicates the potential for hurricane force wind gusts are stronger and large hail. Minnesota into Iowa. That hatched area indicates the potential for two inches or larger in diameter hailstones. Now, tomorrow, the severe weather threat shifts to the east into southern Wisconsin. The highest severe weather threat over southeastern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, where the storms are more likely to form. The farther to the north and west you go, the less likely the storms will form early enough to get severe weather. So that's why we have a level one or marginal risk of severe thunderstorms through Madison. Tornado threat highest to the south, where the storms are more likely to be across parts of northern Illinois. There's a threat for uh, high wind and also hail across uh, southern Wisconsin. Again, with any storms that develop mid to late afternoon. So we keep that alert day going through uh, tomorrow evening. Once the cold front comes through, the severe weather threat is over, and then we see quiet weather for the rest of the week. Temperatures right now, mid to upper 80s through much of the Midwest. On the other side of a cold front, though, those temperatures drop into the 60s and 50s. Dew point temperatures well into the 60s. So that's what's fueling the storms across parts of Minnesota. You can see how quickly they erupt and then sweep northeastward in, in uh, lines now extending down into parts of Kansas as well. So right ahead of a cold front, there's a warm front lifting northward through Minnesota. Both of these are uh, triggering thunderstorms. The warm and humid air mass, mainly out to the west of us. The air a little bit drier across our part of the Midwest. Notice temperatures upper 80s to near 90 degrees here. On the other side of the cold front, those temperatures drop into the 60s. So again, once the cold front comes through, the severe weather threat will end tomorrow evening. But before that happens, a high of 83 for tomorrow. It'll be windy, winds out of the southwest, 15 to 25 miles per hour, a little more humid, and some thunderstorms mid to late afternoon. Tonight, the best th threat for any thunderstorms will be dying storms out to the west of us. Tomorrow, those storms fire up and then move very quickly to the south and east. So the timing on that's going to be critical. The earlier they form, the better the chances for severe weather around here. By late tomorrow night, we're down to the mid-50s, and then pleasant weather moves in for Wednesday with high temperatures in the lower 70s. Rainfall amounts spotty. Areas that get thunderstorms, some areas could pick up up to an inch of rain. Other areas may miss out on the rain altogether, depending on where those storms form. Notice one of the other future track models indicating much more rain. So as we look at the 7 to 10 day forecast though, dry weather Wednesday through Friday, then thunderstorm chances return by the weekend into much of next week. Temperatures at or slightly below normal. When we come back, an update on the ongoing war in Ukraine and some of the people fighting behind the scenes off the front lines. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hey, everybody, who's coming to the big show? It's Fetty! Saturday, June 11th at Ho-Chunk Gaming and Casino in Wisconsin Dells, an all-day outdoor event. Come out for classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles during the day and stay for the concert at night. Featuring country superstar Trace Atkins, Runaway Jew, The Mascot Theory, and Beth Killian. All benefiting heat and housing for heroes. Visit VetAWI.com for details and to purchase tickets for Trace Atkins. in life are free. Just wait until he hears about free installation from Feldco. Free installation? Are you kidding me? Yeah! Free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for one year. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends Memorial Day. Call now. Well quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. Raising healthy children takes a village, and kids thrive when their village is healthy too. SSM Health and News 3 Now are helping you unlock a healthier world with our Time for Kids Keys to Health campaign. We'll show you how sustainable choices create healthier lifestyles, explore the impacts of food security on families, and share ways we can help build a healthy community together. So join us on air, online, and in your village. And take time for kids. Away. Gary got 
the skag. Oh, look at that thing low. I wonder if it'll let me borrow it. Yeah, more envy. I gotta get one too. The moment you know you want a skag. Skag. Simply the best. News 3 Now, winner of 18 Awards of Excellence from the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. We'll continue to strive for excellence every day to bring you the area's best local news coverage. News 3 Now. Smart speakers have come a long way since the first Amazon Echo is an upgrade in your future. Tomorrow, our experts compare models and features to help you make a smart choice. And a warming trend is what we're going to be expecting. We'll get you out the door tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. Welcome back. In Ukraine, Russia is using its devastating firepower to try to breach the country's defenses. But Ukraine has a secret weapon keeping things afloat. MTS Tide has the latest. Street by street, village by village, Russian forces are seizing more and more territory as they try to conquer the eastern Donbass region. Ukrainian troops are outnumbered 7 to 1 here as Moscow's siege tactics overwhelm several areas. But there's no greater reminder of the horrors this war has already inflicted than in Mariupol. New video appears to show mass graves as far as the eye can see. A pain unbearable for the few who remain there. But in a show of strength and determination, Vladimir Zelensky was on the ground in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, recently wrestled back from Russia. The president hasn't been seen outside the Kyiv region since Russia's invasion began over three months ago and was greeted with near total devastation. But as Russia wages its war of attrition, Ukraine has a secret weapon, its people. These women are stitching together body armor vests for the front line. Sergei Milyutin is deputy mayor of Krivi Everyone here has loved ones in the military, he says, and so we're careful to make things as high quality as possible. So in a way, this is a labor of love for the people who make these materials. Absolutely. 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 How most Ukrainians feel about Vladimir Putin couldn't be clearer. This gravestone stands outside another volunteer center where we meet Oleg Zaboyak, who takes us around the facility and shows us camouflage made for sniper using household plastics, as Zaboyak demonstrates. Well, you make a very convincing sniper. Hello. Hello. But it's here some of the most useful work is being done. These women weave together camouflage netting to be used in the battlefield. Despite suffering heavy losses in the Donbass region, Ukrainian forces are on the counterattack in the south of the country, claiming to have pushed back Russian forces out of three villages in the Kherson region. Impiaz Taib, CBS News in southeastern Ukraine. Well, in our weather, we had a pretty good stretch of... Yeah, sunshine out there. Yeah, now we're watching some storms out to the west in Minnesota and Iowa. A few of these could reach western Wisconsin tonight, but we'll see our better chances for uh, thunderstorms tomorrow with the potential for some severe weather. Right now, low temperatures near 90 degrees. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock.